seven stages the dumper goes through during the no contact period. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on in his mind after a breakup. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. The panic and anxiety and heartbreak that you experience after a breakup is intense. It is the most intense emotional pain someone can go through. I'd say aside from losing a loved one, but this kind of feels like the same thing. It does almost feel like a death. And when you're in that period of grief, and heartbreak, you don't think rationally. You are operating from a place of pure emotions and that might cause you to do things that you regret. We've all been there. That's why I wanted to make a super rational video. This video is gonna break down the steps that most guys go through following a breakup. Now they're not always in this exact order. It could be in a different order, but it doesn't matter. The process is the same and most people hit all of these steps after they dump someone else. What you need to realize is that he's probably been thinking about this for a while. He didn't just come to this decision on a whim one day. So you can't just talk him out of it. You can't plead to his emotions. You can't beg, you can't rationalize. None of those things are gonna work. If you've watched any of my other videos about getting your ex back, you know that it's crucial to follow the no contact period. A lot of women are very hesitant to do this because they're scared that if they let him go, they'll lose him forever. But that's not what's gonna happen. I am gonna outline exactly what goes on in his mind and why this works in your favor. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. Real quick, if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to turn on notifications. Also, there's only so much I can cover in one video. So if you wanna know more about how to get your ex back, I mean, if you wanna know everything there is to know from beginning to end, exactly how to get him back, and not only that, how to make it work the second time around, then definitely download our ebook, Eric and I, my partner in a new mode, we wrote a book on how to get your ex back and it's basically everything you need to know. It's called Get Him Back. You can download it at easyxback.com. You can head there as soon as you're done with this video and it just covers it all. We are gonna talk about the stages that a dumper goes through during the no contact period. Number one, relief. I know this one probably just jabbed you between the ribs. Like he feels relieved. He feels relieved I'm not in his life anymore. In the beginning, yes. He does. He's gonna feel a sense of relief because you broke up because the relationship was broken and it was probably breaking down for a long time. And being stuck in a relationship that's on the decline feels terrible. It's a horrible feeling. So of course you're gonna feel relieved when you're not stuck in that emotional whirlpool anymore. He's also probably been thinking about breaking up with you for a while and he wasn't sure and he was having doubts and he was going back and forth and he finally did it and there is a sense of relief that comes with that. Now here's something really important to keep in mind. When he's in the relief stage, if you keep going after him and keep contacting him, it doesn't matter if you're like being all sweet and all romantic and all nice and all apologetic or whatever the case, he is gonna feel resentful and he is gonna ice you out. This is the stage that a lot of women come to me desperate, heartbroken, crying, and they're like, I don't understand, how did he go so cold? Like he's like the nicest, kindest guy that I know and he's totally shutting me out. He completely went cold on me. And I'm like, well, do you keep reaching out to him or do you keep like showing up places where you think he'll be? And they're like, well, yeah, because because you know, I realized all the mistakes that I made and I had to let him know and whatever it is. Point is, immediately after a breakup, you have to give him space. You have to back off, let him experience that relief for now, because we still have a lot more stages to go and the relief isn't gonna remain for very long. Number two, living it up. Okay, I know you don't wanna hear this one either, but that's another thing. After a relationship, especially after a super long-term relationship, he is a free man and he is gonna enjoy all that being a free man entails. He might go out with his friends, he might hit on lots of girls, flirt with lots of girls, who knows? But he is free now for the first time and he's enjoying it. Again, it is a big mistake to interrupt this process. So that means that if you see on social media, he's like commenting on some girl's pictures on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, do not say anything. You will look jealous and crazy and he's not gonna be like, oh wow, you know, this is such a turn on that she's like going ballistic because I'm commenting on some girl's Instagram photos. Oh yeah, I should call her and we should get back together. Just think, like play it out in your mind how this looks and how this comes across and you'll realize that you don't want to be the girl who comes across looking like, I hate using this phrase, but you don't wanna look like the crazy girl. You really don't. Fine, maybe he's living it up. Again, that doesn't mean anything. He was in a relationship for a while. Now he's not in a relationship and he's just enjoying being single for now. Step three, 
second thoughts. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now you guys are getting to a place that you wanna know about. It's like, yeah, 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 tell me more about how he's having second thoughts. Look, no one is ever 100% sure of their decisions. There's not, they're just not. I mean, that's a very, very rare thing. Maybe sometimes you're 100% sure, but there's always that room for doubt. Even if you're 99% sure, there's still that 1%. And with breakups, I'd say it's something like 70% sure in the decision, 30% unsure. And again, like the percentages can fluctuate based on how bad the relationship was. And if you did something that was like an absolute deal breaker, like you cheated on him and that's a deal breaker, you know, then he's probably more on the 99.9% sure. And maybe like, you know, there is that room for doubt. That doubt, no matter what the percentage is, is your friend. That is working in your favor. The way that you cancel out that doubt is if, again, you interrupt the process, you break no contact, you bother him, you badger him, you show up places, you do the romantic gestures, whatever it is. You have to just let it be for now and trust that things are working in your favor slowly but surely. And they are especially gonna work in your favor if he hasn't heard from you. So like we covered, he feels relieved, he feels free, he's enjoying the freedom, but then suddenly the freedom turns on him. It's not as great as he imagined. Yeah, it was fun for a little bit, but now it's getting a little lonely. Now he's wondering if he gave up a good thing in exchange for an illusion. Now he's starting to doubt his decision. Now he's wondering if things could have been salvaged. Now he's not feeling so good, not feeling so happy, not feeling so relieved. Now we're on stage four, sadness. Now it's interesting how breakups work. I mean, they're usually different for men and women, or I guess it's not just men and women. It's like the dumper and the dumpy because the dumpy usually starts out feeling really, really sad, right? Like immediately after a breakup, you're devastated, you're crushed. And then you start building yourself back up. Then you start the phases of like going out with your friends, flirting with other guys, enjoying the single life. So you're getting to a good place. The dumper starts out happy, relieved, enjoying the single life, but then the sadness starts to come in. So you're like basically on two different trajectories here. So he had his fun. Now he's starting to feel a little sad. Now the nostalgia is coming in. And here's the thing about memory. We tend to forget the bad memories more easily. We tend to idolize the past and we tend to remember the good memories. So all of a sudden the memory of all the fights and the jealousy or whatever happened are starting to fade and he's starting to reflect on all the good times and he's starting to remember how nice it was to have to be in a relationship with someone, to have someone there, to have a partner in crime, someone to share all this fun and all these adventures with and he's starting to miss that and it feels bad. A breakup is still a loss. Even if he's the one that dumped you, it's a loss. And maybe at first he was blinded by, you know, being free and how good it felt, whatever. But now he's feeling that loss. And now he's starting to grieve because that's what we do after a breakup. It is the loss of someone. And again, this can only happen if you're following the no contact rule. <laughs> so I know I keep emphasizing this because I know it's so hard for so many of you. I mean, I get questions on this all the time. I even have a whole other video about why the no contact rule is so important, but he's not gonna be grieving the loss of you if you're still there. You have to be absent. You have to not be there in order for him to feel your absence. Now we're up to stage five, idealization. He's gonna be remembering the happy times and he's gonna be ruminating on them, especially if he's an Aquarius, because I'm an Aquarius and we do have a tendency to idolize the past. So if this guy, if your ex is an Aquarius, then good news for you, he's probably really putting you on a pedestal right now. If he's dating someone new, maybe he is in some rebound relationship, he is at this point gonna be comparing that new girl to you because at now you're a fantasy illusion. You're not a reality anymore because you're not there. She's a reality. And he is gonna start to pick her apart a little bit and compare her to you and you're gonna come out on top because you're an idolized fantasy at this point. When the doubt sets in and time has gone by and he's not hearing from you, then he's really gonna start to wonder if he made the right decision. And all of a sudden, the things that seemed like such big deals at the time, all the reasons for the breakup are maybe not gonna feel like such big deals anymore. Now he's gonna start picking himself apart and thinking, maybe I jumped the gun on this. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I threw in the towel too quickly. And what if I've lost her forever? Number six, curiosity. At this point, he's really starting to wonder what you're up to, especially if he hasn't heard from you, especially if, hopefully I haven't mentioned this yet, but hopefully you are exercising some degree of restraint on social media. I mean, you don't wanna be posting pictures of yourself with different guys and out every night and pictures of yourself in a bikini looking amazing because all of those things are done with the intention of getting a reaction out of him. Yes, okay, you can post on social media. I'm not telling you to completely go dark. Do not do it with the intention of getting a rise out of him. And I would say be sparing because again, you want him to feel your absence and he's 
not gonna feel that if he can see every move that you're making on social media. So just be a little mindful with what you're putting out there because he most likely is watching. There was a study and pretty much the majority of people stalk their exes on social media after a breakup. So he probably is tuning in to see what you're up to. So just, you know be a little restrained here. Also with the curiosity stage, he's wondering if he still has you as an option because he has no idea. He has no idea if you've completely moved on, if you've forgotten about him, if you're happier without him. He has no idea where your head is at and that's gonna bother him and that is really gonna start eating away at him. So this really works in your favor. At this point, he's gonna be super curious. He's gonna be checking all your social handles. Maybe he'll, if you have mutual friends, maybe he'll start inquiring about you. He'll start dropping casual things in here and there. The curiosity is gonna build and build and build until we get to the final stage. He reaches out. Now, I just wanna say, if he reaches out before the 30 days, so I strongly recommend doing a period of 30 days, no contact, like a 30 day detox. There are many reasons for this. You could read about it either in our x book Book, easyxback.com or on my other video on no contact rules so we don't need to get into it here but if he reaches out before then either ignore him or tell him look I just don't want to talk to you right now you know if you have to respond hopefully you will have gone past 30 days no contact will be up hopefully you will have worked on yourself and then he reaches out now here's something important to keep in mind him reaching out does not necessarily mean he wants to get back together with you so don't get so excited right away it is possible that he wants to know if you're still an option if you are still there if he wants you but he's not really ready to be back together at this point in time so he might just be taking in the temperature of the situation and just kind of trying to see where your head is at if you i mean are all in right away. You hear from him, you're like, oh my God, I'm so excited to hear from you. And this is amazing. And I've missed you so much. And I love you so much. And I realize how much I love you. Like now he knows that he can just have you back as soon as he wants you. Doesn't mean that, you know, he might still have feelings for you. Maybe he's considering getting back together with you, but you'll basically undo all the progress that you made during no contact because he's not really gonna feel that motivation to get back together right now. He's just gonna enjoy the fact that he knows, okay, I could still be single and free a little bit while longer and sort through things. And I still have her, like she's still there. If I wanna get back together with her, then she's available for that. He basically knows that, okay, he could date around and if nothing works out, then you're still there. Great, win-win for him. To avoid this, your position when he reaches out is this. The breakup was hard and painful, but I have accepted that I am fully single now. Say it however you wanna say it. You don't even need to say it in those words. That could just be the mindset that you adopt, but that is your position. It is not, I am so happy to be hearing from you. All right, take me, I'm yours. Here I am, let's go, let's get going, round two. Let him convince you to get back into a relationship. He dumped you. He said, I no longer want to see you. I don't want to date you anymore. Don't just hand yourself back over on a silver platter. Let him win you over. That's a really important thing. It's important in any stage of a relationship. You have to give a man the space to pursue you and win you over. No one appreciates anything that is just freely handed over to them. And if you want to get back together with him, there are two important things to keep in mind. Make sure that number one, you are not settling for just being friends. Like he contacts you and says, let's be friends. And you say yes, but really in your mind, you don't want to be friends. You want to get back together with him. So you're using this friendship as a guise to win him back over. Again, we don't win guys over. Let him win you over. You don't want a friendship with him, so don't accept a friendship with him. If he says, oh, let's just try being friends, you should say, no, you know, I just don't think that's a really good idea. I have enough friends. I'm not really looking for another friend. Okay, I wish you all the best. Number two, do not fall into the pattern of hooking up with him sometimes. Like, you guys get together, you hook up, it's great. It's like old times, things are great. But then like you, you depart and days and days go by and you don't hear from him and you're completely confused because you're like, are we back together? Are we not back together? What's going on? Do not fall into the pattern of hooking up with him until you know what you guys are and where things are headed. Are you working towards reconciling and getting back together? Does he just want a booty call? Like what's going on here? You can, you don't have to be mean. That's important. Do not be mean and angry and aggressive here. You could be kind and pleasant and still have boundaries. Boundaries are so important. Boundaries are crucial. So whatever your boundaries are, maintain them. And men are very attracted to women with strong boundaries. He doesn't want you to just fall all over and bend over backwards and try to please him. Maybe in theory, this sounds kind of nice, but in reality, there is nothing appealing or attractive about that. It's best to just give him space and do not force things to work. 
And again, let him come to you. If you convey to him that you are single right now, you are embracing your single status, you are actively moving on, then he's gonna feel the fear that he might lose you unless he steps up. And there is nothing, there's no better indication of how a man feels than when he is faced with the prospect of losing you forever. If you just make yourself available, he's never gonna be faced with that prospect. You have to be strong here. And you have to trust that if he's the right guy for you, he'll come back. He's not gonna just let you go. Don't make it hard for him and do things to intentionally manipulate him or make him chase you. Just don't give yourself away so easily. Remember that you are worth more than that. I hope this was helpful. What do you think of this list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss anything? Please add your feedback, your thoughts, your questions in the comment section. If there's any other expat videos you want me to cover or just any other relationship topics in general, also leave those down below. I read all the comments. I try to reply to everyone. And for more on how to get your back, make sure to download our book. It is called Get Him Back. You can download it right now at easyxback.com. The results have been phenomenal. The testimonials we have, and you can read some of the testimonials when you go to easyxback.com. I mean, so many women have gotten back together with their ex-boyfriends after reading this book and it completely transformed and changed their life. So definitely check that out. I cannot wait to hear what you think and I will see you guys in the next video.